What's up guys, back with another video. This one is about why you should always try to lift fast, for strength, and even hypertrophy on both the concentric and the eccentric portion of the lift. So why do we want to do this? Well, lifting a weight faster means more gains. The study compared benching with maximum speed versus a more controlled tempo, and the results double the gains in the fast group. This can be explained by physiology. To move the bar as fast as possible, our body has to recruit as many muscle fibers as it can. It's just like for lifting the heaviest weight possible. Our body has to recruit as many muscle fibers as it can, since it's going to take all the muscle fibers we have. The activation of muscle fibers is important for strength training in general. This seems to be why training with higher percentages of our one rep max up to a certain point leads to better strength gains. We see higher muscle activation levels up until the percentage of our max, that also seems to be where the benefits for strength in studies hits their peak. Basically, for strength training, we want maximum muscle activation, and thus we want to lift as fast as possible at our reps in order to achieve this. Maximum muscle fiber engagement, just like at a one rep max. We can also get benefits using a fast eccentric. This leads to more stretch reflex. It causes reciprocal inhibition, basically relaxing the muscle working against what we're doing. For example, our triceps would relax when we're trying to contract the biceps. It also activates and enhances the tension within the muscles we want to work, adjusting how the protein titan works. Now, what about hypertrophy? Will going faster affect things? Won't it decrease time under tension and hurt hypertrophy? The answer is no. In fact, if anything, going slower will hurt your hypertrophy. This meta-analysis found no difference in hypertrophy for speeds up to 8 seconds long. Past that, you did seem to actually decrease gains going slower. Time under tension doesn't seem to be the important part, it's a mechanical tension. So the tempo itself doesn't matter if we end up lifting to the same level of difficulty in terms of proximity to failure. Hence why rep range also doesn't seem to affect hypertrophy much, even though the higher rep sets would have much more time under tension. So with the science out of the way, how do we do this practically? Well first, lift as fast as you can. Do this on your warm-ups too, I do think you can do one or two slower warm-up sets just to get going, but go fast from there as you work up towards your working sets. It will make it easier to carry that confidence with moving fast right up to your volume work. I find this also has some psychological benefits, moving warm-ups fast makes you feel strong. I also think if your sticking point isn't at the start of the lift, having some speed built up before you hit it will give you a good boost of momentum to try and get through it at real maximal weights. Now I do think there's an upper limit, you don't want to go so fast that you lose control and tightness, especially on the eccentric. It's going to be harder to control more maximal weights, so you want to practice the speed you can control them with, even at lighter weights where you could go a bit faster. I also think you can go slower temporarily if you have a certain cue you need to work on. Now lastly, won't lifting faster cause more injuries? We'll compare powerlifting to Olympic lifting. Both are strength sports, though weightlifting is more explosive by nature of how the lifts have to be performed, and the injury rate is the same. Both are very low compared to other sports regardless. Now, while tendon stress is greater with faster movement speeds, we need to keep in mind the principles of adaptation and load management here. Not just assume less force must be better. Take that to the extreme, being sedentary would be the best since it reduces as much force as possible, but it actually increases injury rate. I don't think anybody actually thinks we should reduce all forces and be sedentary, I'm just pointing out the flaw in the logic of avoiding force. It's about balance, not under or overdoing it. Our body can adapt to the stimuluses we place upon it and thus provide a protective effect. It's why load management is key. That properly, we prevent injury. Do too little and we are unconditioned. Do too much and we risk injury as well. So it's all about finding the sweet spot. So that's basically it guys. Lifting weights fast will boost your strength, not harm your hypertrophy and benefit it if anything, and it won't risk injury. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you guys quickly hit some big lifts. You can DM me on Instagram at mattvenna for coaching slash programs or email mattvenna at live.ca. Both of those are in the description and pinned comment. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And once again, thanks for watching.